we're on the road again and thought it would do again a, a, a little program here from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Some of the different habitats that uh, we are uh, among here. Uh, we, like I said, this is uh, kind of the area of the country that my wife and I both grew up in. And we got the, the ocean going behind us, lots of laughing gulls and, and brown pelicans and stuff flying over. Um, uh, I've got some other footage here that we will add in and, and uh, talk about the, the beauty of this area. Uh, and you know, the, the Hurricane Ian just came through here, a big hit in this area. Uh, and it's amazing how quickly uh, they can recover. It's, uh, it, the wild, wildlife survives, nature has Blackbirds feeding over to the right of the shoreline. Uh, the wood stork is got his head down, uh, he's to the right of the great egret. The wood stork is a bird we never saw here in years. Uh, when I lived here growing up and birding in college, they have really uh, moved into the area, this part of South Carolina, in the last few years and nesting. It's great to see that comeback story. There's also a tricolored heron over here to the left, and he's over against the left shore. He's a darker bird. Um, and then here on the right, right up against the grass, you can see white, two white ibises, and there is a juvenile white ibis out there among them, who is darker. He's kind of lagging back to the back of the shadows. And he's a darker color, but they're all coming our way, heading over here. With their very, very long bill. There's a juvenile bird coming in closer now. You can see it. Hopefully, you can see how much darker it is. But they have really long bills for probing deep into the mud. Whereas the egrets are just uh, catching fish and crawdads and things are um, smaller. Thank you. 